Hello to all out there. Today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys about what I got to on my weekend. So on Friday evening my older brother came down from uni and stayed over for the weekend. Yesterday was a Saturday. I got ready for the day ahead and I went on to Facebook to Instagram. Just to a bit of Dido, did a bit of karaoke and listened to me when I reached soundtrack, one of my favourite films and the soundtrack is amazing. And I had a bottle of cereal and a cup of tea for my breakfast. And my younger brother and my dad went off and watched my older brother play rugby. And my younger sister was at work and she wasn't at work. I thought she was at work, but it turns out she was with her grandma at my uncle and his girlfriend's house looking after my cousin. And I would have gone, but I had a bit of a headache, so I had a rest and feeling a lot better. And I watched Golden Girls, Friends, Hi My Mother and some other comedy stuff and watched some pure drama stuff like Downton Abbey and Far Brown and Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice and I watched some stuff off record. People Side Player, Put Locker, Catch Up and After Man on our TV. I watched some DVDs and listened to some CDs and vinyl and listened to a bit of Dran Dran, Little Bit of the 80s and a bit of Shania Train and Taylor Swift, Free Taylor when she was back in country. I love country music and I worked on some songs and played on my keyboard. It's some arts and craft and some painting and some illustrating and designing and watched Bugsy Malone, The Sound of Music and Mina Rouge and some other musical stuff and watched some princess films like Princess Diaries and watched Mulan and Pocahontas and Cinderella and some other Disney princess films and watched some Disney classic movies and TV shows and Nickelodeon and Boomerang and CBBC TV shows and films like Emma Home stuff off CBBC and the Tracy Beaker movie and I watched some cartoons and some manga and anime stuff and for my lunch I had a sandwich and a cup of tea and I watched the Sketch Country, DIY SOS and 60 Minute Maker and some other house buying shows and house making shows I watched British Bake Off, Cake Boss and Cupcake Wars and some other cooking show stuff and watched BGT, America's Next Top Model, X Factor, so So Nice, Strictly and some other talent show stuff I watched Wall Calls Drag Race watched Buffy, Centrillions, Supernatural, Dot 2 and Charm and Merlin and American Horror Story and Game of Thrones and Stranger Things and some other sci-fi stuff I watched some horror and thriller films and shows and read the Tether Social Events book that I'm reading at the moment and the Hello Mag and Gossip Mag and some soap magazines and some Marvel and DC comics I watched some Marvel and DC shows and films I watched Spider-Man, the third one and watched Batman and some other TV shows and watch some episodes of Fuller and Full House and watch some episodes of Will and Grace. I blame love Will and Grace at the moment. I'm so obsessed with it. I've watched all the seasons. I'm so glad it came back for a new season and I absolutely love it and I've been watching a load of the older episodes and I watched Still April Hours and April Hours and watched Call the Midwife and some other period drama stuff and some medical trial stuff. I watched Casualty from last night today because I didn't get time to watch it. My younger sister got back from being at my uncle's and girlfriend's house and we watched All Together Now and Take Me Out. Didn't get time to watch The Voice so we're going to watch that this evening and Dancing on Ice for tonight as well while I went to my journal. I'll probably have a snack while I watch that later on this evening and today my younger sister was at work and my older brother went back up to uni and my older sister's at her house she was going to come down but she's busy so we're hopefully going to be seeing her sometime next week it's now half term and my younger brother and his girlfriend out they go back and they're just upstairs watching some films and just relaxing because they're all very tired because they went out for the day so they're all they're both resting and I tied up my dolls and dolls up for my I've been playing my dog as a show and did some filming and editing of that and played with my main Peter doll. I got my Peter doll food to sort out tomorrow and I had a nice refreshing shower and that helped wake me up and I am getting my hair cut tomorrow and I'm going to go off to the dumpster and I'm so excited about that because they always have a load of dolls and DVDs and stuff and CDs so hopefully I'll be able to get a few things and they always have a little knickknacks and stuff that I love getting for my doll house like little ornaments and did a bit of spring cleaning and tidying my doll's house up and we saw the stuff on and sort of just set some props out and filmed my dog as a show and we watched Water Road Skins, Grain Tilt and some other soap stuff and watched the grassy 
Dawson's Creek, Riverdale, and some other American team drama stuff, and watched The Carrie Diaries, and watched Lucerne this morning, and Lorraine and Alan Jonas show, and some other talk show stuff, and Wendy Williams show. I'd love to have my own talk show because I'm so tatty, and I read some fanfic, and wrote some fanfic, and watched some fan vids, and read the Soap Mag, Dot Two Comics, and some Marvel and DC Comics, and The Vogue Magazine, and Soap Magazine's Catch Up on My Soap Gossip. This week, Rob Bond are going to be reuniting. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be a big week, the reunion week, and I just love it. I've seen a load of previews, and I'm so excited, and little sneak peeks of what's to come, and can't wait. The soaps are getting so good, and I am so excited to what, for what comes this week, and so on. And I watched some classic Doctor episodes and some DVDs and listened to some series and vinyl and listened to a bit of Shania Train, Kylie Madonna, a bit of Carplay, a bit of Tears of Fears, a bit of Aha and Take That and did a bit of karaoke, Love a Good Sing Song and did some words such as some painting and some colouring and some illustrating and fashion designing and I've worked on some new fashion designs and I watched Say Yes to the Dress and watched Safe by the Bow and some DVDs I watched Hugh Fame Roger Rabbit and some cartoon films and some stop motion stuff. I watched Wallace and Gromit, Chicken Run and some other stuff like that. I watched Doll Tours, The Horse Dolls and Tutorials and looked at Dolls and Doll stuff off eBay and Amazon Swiss and watched some Barbie and Bratz films and TV shows and looked at some Bratz, Barbie, My Scene, Pilot Doll and Cindy stuff and I am now in a Barbie group on Facebook and also a Bratz group on Facebook and I posted some more photos that I've taken of doll photography stuff and a load of people liked and commented on them so I felt really flattered that they liked my photography stuff and I got on a massive nature the other day so I posted some photos that I've taken onto Instagram of that and also some new doll photography stuff and I tidied the kitchen up and stuff like Blim Cinder I am and I just love cleaning I got OCD anyway so everything has to be tip top and proper and tidied my doll house set up for my Play My Doll to show. And I played Jenga, Uno, Cod, Guess Who, Minecraft, Ludo, Sorry, and some other cards of board game stuff. And did some work sessions and some painting and some colouring pages from my colouring book. I found it very therapeutic. I used to love it. I played with Star Doll, Friv, and some other game site stuff. And I played with my dog House and Freedom the for him. And I watched some stuff off a cord that I needed to watch and watched some casualty hobby docs and other stuff like that and watched casualty from last night that I not had time to watch and some other casualty stuff and I listened to Dido Lord A or Lord however you say her name I'm so bad with guessing and saying people's names and like the film titles and show titles sometimes I'm good but sometimes I'm not too good that I f forget names easily and me and my dad and my siblings are going to be going up to see my grandma who's up the road in a we had because can't speak today. It was just keep coming out and God again. We're going up the road to see my grandma who was in a we had a, a we had place. Trying to use a fancy word, just stop done. You're just gonna make yourself look like a fool already. You already do that enough, you crazy fool. She's in a rehab place waiting to be let him. She'd be there for a few weeks because she fell and broke several of her ribs. So she's up there resting, getting spoilt rotten. But yeah, they're looking after her and she's a lot better. She's getting a bit forgetful now, so we think she's getting a little bit of dementia. But she's all right. She's doing a lot better than she was. Cause she's got a lot more colour in her face now. And yeah, sorry about sometimes how I, this all comes out in gobbledygook or I say something wrong. I'm just, I'm just nuts. But that's just me. That's just who I am. Part of my disability is when I, I want to say something and my mind's telling me to say it and it just all flows out wrong. Quite a few people do that at times though, so I'm glad that I'm not the only one. But I'm unique, I'm me, and I'm not going to change for anyone. Just be yourself, and yeah. I've had such a great weekend. Can't wait for the half term next week. And I start my new work placement soon. I'll be working in Wi-Fi for the Yeah, there. I guess it just call, comes out in gobbledygook. Diana, talking in gobbledygook land again. Going up to work in Wi-Fi Garden Centre. 
and I started there on the 21st, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Love nature, love gardening and flowers and all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to starting there on the 21st. Of course, it is going to meet me there for the first day or so, and then hopefully should get the swing of things. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. The only thing is, I thought I was going to be in my town's high street garden centre, but I'm all the way up in my file, which is a, a bit away. So that means either my mum or my dad are going to have to drop me there because there's no buses to, to get there. So it might be a bit hard sometimes if my mum's not very well. So my dad might have to, but I start at 10 and my dad normally gets back from his morning shift about 9ish or 10ish. So it shouldn't be too hard to get someone to drop me up there. I'm going to be working now on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. No, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I have four days in and then I have Monday off. So I have four, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Which is good because I used to always have Friday off. But so I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then getting ready for the week ahead, I'd always feel really tired. So mon Friday, on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'll be good because then I'll be, after, I'll be recuperated. I'm ready to work for the last four days of the week. I'm really looking forward to it. I love Wi Fi Garden Center. They always decorate it so beautifully. And I'm going to be setting up displays and sorting out the stock and stuff. And in the summer, I'll be able to water some of the plants and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting there. I'm now off to go have tea. My mum's been slaving in the kitchen all afternoon, cooking us chicken, Spanish chicken and it smells so nice and we watch Monkey World and watch some films and some other stuff like that and listen to a bit of music and my cat who's Goo Lally has been trying to jump out and get a chicken but my mum's like nope get away and he's just such a crazy cat he's like 900 and he gives meows and pees and pees everywhere it's like having another baby in the house but I'm now off to go have my tea and then go and watch that's a nice and the voice from last night. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. We'll have a lovely weekend and I shall see you soon with a new vlog coming soon. Bye!